Hello, welcome back to the channel. I thought while I'm standing here waiting for a bite, I'd have a, I'd do a little vlog of sorts. That's some of my thoughts, my usual stuff. It's so bright today in Cornwall. Can't see the camera. I hope I'm in picture. Uh, I thought I'd have a little chat about like how to get into fishing today because I've been searching around on YouTube and stuff, you know, I'm trying to get myself excited to get out there and get fishing and unfortunately you're sort of, you're greeted by the, the same sort of boring grey educational stuff, uh, UK fishing anyway. I actually, personally, I don't actually watch any UK fishing on YouTube because it's so it's just so dull. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about it really. I wish it wasn't, but it's all got the same sort of feel about it. There's nothing new. And unfortunately with the UK weather, it's mostly grey all the time. And it just doesn't look attractive. Like as, as a young person, flipping around YouTube thinking, oh, I want to get into fishing, you know, I, I don't think it's a... I don't think they're going to like what they see. It's just... You know, I think, personally, I think the best way to learn how to fish in the UK is to learn how to do it from your dad, you know, or some relative, or friends, between friends. I, I think if you're going to look at YouTube, uh, UK fishing is just not going to look nice. I mean, obviously, they're going to be attracted to, like, bass fishing and LRF and... Uh, you know, like rock fishing, uh, even Japanese fishing, man, I love watching some Japanese channels sometimes, they're really, really good. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, if I was to show you my setup today. So we're fishing big old, I don't know if that's coming out, I cannot see, it's too bright. 12 foot rod, standard. This is standard beach fishing setup. I'm on the rocks today. I, I, I like fishing off the rocks. The good thing about fishing off the rocks is that you can you can go there any time of the day, night. Uh, you can still find the water and the fish. Uh, and I've got a uh, multiplier. This is actually um, I, can't, I have no idea if you can see that. I can't see a thing. This is a actually a, a, a cheap. Uh, I think it's a yeah Tronics Pro. Um, but I've had, a, I've had a couple of multipliers in the past and this one's actually quite good for a cheap one. And I tend to bash reels around. I, I, if you watch any of my other stuff, you know I've got a cheap reel or two. I like the old Mitchells and, you know, uh, I can't remember the Mitchell reel that I used for, for spinning, but I've had it for about eight years. And uh, it's not the best, but I've never, I've never had any reason to change it, to be honest. So I, I've got a lot of the gear I pick up, I get it like in a cell or something. I actually, I've, I've had this rod, this is a Shakespeare. Another brand that I'm really keen on actually, Shakespeare. They do really good stuff. It's a uh, Shakespeare Agility, I'm not too, uh, Surf Max. Uh, I'm not too sure if they make anymore. It's actually a 12 foot nine rod. Yeah, I'm not gonna go on and on about what you should and shouldn't do. I think the main thing with UK fishing is you've got to make it fun for you. You've got to do what you want to do. Um, obviously, I think the best way to get into UK fishing now is to pick up a lure rod, you know? Uh, just like a 20 to 30 gram lure rod and uh, get some jetties because it doesn't smell, you know? and. Uh, go out and catch some wrasse. Wrasse are such good fun to catch. And uh, then if it takes you, you know, speak to people when you're out fishing. Sea fishermen are the friendliest fishermen you're ever gonna meet in the UK, okay? If you meet a, a coarse fisherman, he does not want to tell you where he's fishing. It's very, very hush hush. Um, if you're in a local area, if you live somewhere and you're at, it's near the sea or something and you want to you ask someone, they generally they tell you. They can't wait to tell you what they've caught and where they've caught it. 
Uh, Cornish fishermen, they love a good chin wag, good, good yard, you know? So that's, in my opinion, is the best way to go about it. Don't sit in front of YouTube. It's not gonna make you happy. I can tell you that now. It's all the same. Do you know what they say in the UK? Get a boat. Go boat fishing, because that's the easiest way to catch fish, you know? But anyway, what I'm hoping to catch today is like a huss. My favorite kind of fish, really, is a fish from the shark family. So, or a cod, I'd love to catch a cod. But, uh, yeah, just a huss. I'll be happy with dogfish. Honestly, you know what I'm like. I like to catch wrasse all the time. It's good fun. But yeah, that's all I have to say, really. Thanks a lot for watching again. Don't forget to sub. I still cannot see the camera. I hope it's not as dark as I think it is. <laughs> I'll look back at the computer later. It'll just be pitch black. But um, yeah, that's, that's something I had on my mind. I wanted to get it off my chest, really. And uh, uh, thanks for watching again. Don't forget to sub. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.